Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got a bit of a different video for you. Someone sent me this idea, I think on my last Zara haul maybe, and I thought, you know what, I really like that idea. So basically, I asked you on Instagram to send me in pictures of your Zara items, whether they're just chilling in your basket or on your wish list, and you just don't know whether or not to buy them, you're not sure, you're on the fence. So yeah, I asked you to send them to me so that I could buy them for you and test them out so you can make up your mind. But yeah, I thought it was just quite a good idea. So let me know if you do enjoy this video and I'll be sure to do it again, maybe for a different brand. But yeah, this was also a really good chance for me to wear some things that I would honestly never have usually bought. And a few of the items really did surprise me. Um, a few of the items, my opinion did not change. So it's probably a good chance for you as well to see me in different kind of styles of clothes so yeah it was just a bit of fun but i hope you enjoy it anyway so i'm just going to jump right into the video okay first up and this was appearing on a lot of people's um wish list so i had to buy it and it is this skirt i am going to have clips of me trying it on don't worry i'll also pop a little picture of what it looks like on the website but yeah a lot of people had this on their wish list and it's this kind of like satiny silky feeling skirt um, i believe it's like a classed as being yeah it's a midi i'd say it's a midi skirt um with like a slit up the front it's got this knot detail here and the zip at the back so if you've watched my videos you may or may not know that i've, I've said this a few times i don't do skirts i never ever buy skirts don't like them don't know what it is i just don't think they suit me and i've never personally found any skirts that i've really liked so this was just something that I would have never in a million of years have like bought myself. So it was quite interesting seeing me wearing a skirt, just in general. One thing I will say about this is, don't get me wrong, I don't hate how it looks. And I think this could look really nice on a lot of people. I still am not a fan of how it looks on me. I don't know, it's just, it's not me. Maybe because I'm not overly girly, um, I'd rather have a nice short or a trouser. Um, one thing I will say is the fit of this does come up big. It's not big in the sense that it's going to fall down if you wear it, but it was quite gapy at the back and I felt like it was moving a little bit. I don't know. I feel like I could have maybe sized down. This was a small, by the way, and I'm a UK size 8, so I just felt like I could have sized down. And just for reference, I am 5 foot 8 as well, so you can see how long it is on me. I think it's actually really nice and could be styled in lots of different ways, but it hasn't changed my mind on skirts for me. It's still not my cup of tea. It was £25.99. Good price. Um, so yeah, that's what I thought about the first thing. Okay, next up, and this is way, way out of my comfort zone. Um, and it is this midi, um, like knitted, stretchy bodycon dress. And it's in this kind of pale, like nudie pink colour. Gorgeous colour. Really love the colour. And the back of it is like that. It's got like cut out, cross strap detail there. I ordered a size small and it was $27.99. I personally think I look like one of the Kim Kardashian perfume bottles wearing this. It is not the most forgiving of dresses, okay? You can see a lot underneath. You can clearly see some nipple action, great. Clearly see some like torso action. It's just, it's not a very thick material, so it's not gonna be the most forgiving. I also could see like my pants. Granted, I was wearing dark colored underwear, but still you could see it. And I felt like it's one of those materials where if you've got any kind of like fancy little bit of detailing on your underwear, if you've got any of that on, you are probably going to get some little lumps and bumps. It's going to show through. So yeah, just be very, very cautious of what you wear. In terms of the shape, I'm not a fan of bodycon on me. I don't find it flattering personally for me. I'm not the curviest of girls and I just feel like it enhances just the little bits that I don't like on me. As I said, I like the colour, but just with how kind of see-through-ish it feels, it feels like the wrong colour because I do feel a bit naked when I wear it. Okay, next up, and I had to throw in a pair of jeans. These were on a few people's lists, actually. This, like, slim flare leg denim jean. So here we have it. You can see it's got a couple of little rips on the knees. And on the bottom, they do have like a little split leg as well. So I got a UK size eight and they were 27 99 Now I was pleasantly surprised with these. I'm not gonna lie, as I was pulling them up, I was like, oh, these feel tight. Don't know if these are gonna get over my bum. We got there um, and I actually really like the fit of these. Um, I thought they were gonna be a bit too much of a slim leg. I don't 
really like straight leg jeans i'd rather them be wide leg or skinny like pick a lane i don't usually like in between but i did like these i do think they feel like more of like a going out or like more formal kind of jean they don't feel casual to me i feel like you need to wear these with a nice top for going out for dinner or some drinks but i really like them as as i said earlier i'm five foot eight so you can see the length of them on me really like the split and um, leg detail on them i think they're great around the waist i like how my bum looks in these i think they don't flatten your bum and make you like a pancake bum so yeah i really enjoy these jeans but as i said i just wouldn't wear them as like day-to-day -day casual jeans they just feel a little bit too special for that okay this was seriously out of my comfort zone this is something and by the way when by the way when i say this guys in these videos of i would never choose this and i would never wear this Please, if you do like these items or you're thinking of buying them, please don't take offence by that. That is not me saying you have no idea about fashion or I hate your fashion sense. I'm just saying I wouldn't buy them for me. Um, I'm not saying these items won't look great on you. So it is this dress. Now this is long. It's like, is it classed as medaxi when it's not quite maxi to the floor, but it's not midi? Medaxi, I think it's classed as. Um, so I got this in a size extra small because it did look large on the uh, website so yeah i got this in an extra small and it fits fine and this was 29.99 now it is just this really long floaty as i said medaxi dress with this paneling detail feels very very summery feels very much like a dress you just throw on because you want to be comfortable um, and then at the back it does have this detailing here so you tie this up at the back you're going to see me wearing it as i said you would never see me wearing a dress like this because it's just not my cup of tea don't feel comfortable wearing these kind of things however if you do like these kind of things a few things i will say about this dress it is one of the most comfortable things i've ever put on my body like it is so comfortable it's got a little bit of stretch it's floaty this feels like a dress that would be amazing if you were pregnant in summer and you wanted to stay cool but like stay covered and feel nice definitely feels like it could be an amazing pregnancy dress for me i'm not a fan of where it cuts like underneath the boob so when you're wearing it it's got a little bit of paneling here and it kind of just cuts you off here and then it goes floaty so i do think if you had bigger boobs you're going to be falling out the top of this and you don't want your boob to come underneath that panel because then the dress isn't going to sit right so yeah something to bear in mind if you do have a bigger chest it might not be the best fit on you but no as i said not a dress i would ever pick but if it's your thing go for it another pre-warning please don't take offense to this but this is probably the most hideous thing i've ever bought from zara and it is this shirt i haven't even bothered doing the buttons back up to show you because i just can't wait to put it back in the box and send it back I absolutely hate it. <laughs> I know that like colour blocking and clashing colours and all the bright things are in right now. This is too much. This silky shirt with the knot at the bottom, the pattern, the colour, it's too much. I actually feel a bit travel sick just looking at it. It's giving me a migraine. I can't deal with it. For the sake of the video though, I have shown you what I look like in it. But there's nothing about this that I enjoy. I'm so sorry. I just hate it. <laughs> I really hate it. Um, it's, yeah, the colours aren't doing it for me. The material makes it feel like Saturday Night Fever, very 70s. This also has matching shorts on the website. I don't. I don't know why, but it does. I have styled it with some jeans. I hate how it looks with the jeans. I hate it. It's baggy. It it would look the tiniest bit better if it wasn't for all these colours. And it was a bit tighter around the tie waist. So it kind of gave you nitrogen at, at the waist and gave you a little bit of shape. It doesn't. It does absolutely nothing for you other than make you feel like a 70s reject. And that is my opinion on that shirt. Okay, next up. We have another like bodycon dress again. Would have never have chosen this but to look at i don't hate it it's in this kind of like army camo kind of pattern this nudie camo design and i don't hate that i think actually that's quite cool i think i'd like this dress if it was like a short dress um but yeah it is like a midi dress again midi bodycon i never ever go towards that kind of thing but i got this in a size small and it was 19.99 now, I put this dress on and my feelings didn't change about the whole bodycon and midi not feeling great on me. 
wasn't vibing with it. I was just like, mm, yeah, it's clinging to those bits I don't really like. Don't hate the design of it. And then, honestly, I'm going to put this clip in here now because when I turned around and looked at my bum in this dress, guys, let me tell you, I'm not curvy. I don't have a bum. I don't have boobs. So if a dress makes me have a bum, that dress is a miracle worker sent from God. When I turn around, I'm just going to put it in. So I am just looking at myself. I turn around in the mirror and I'm like, what? What? And then I'm just in shock. I was in shock for the rest of the day, to be honest. So I think this dress does wonders for your bum, whether you've got one or not. It is unreal. I sent a video of it to Dion when I was actually filming the video. And I was like, look, look, please, please look at my bum. But yeah, it it's incredible for your bum and it made me want to keep it just for that but i thought in reality am i actually going to wear it probably not but yeah just as a little tip there girls if you are looking for that dress to um hug your bum this is the one okay next up and it is this really really cute actually little play suit um, it's obviously striped as you can see however when it's on it does look more like a dress so there are some little shorts under here but as I said there's material over the top of them so it looks like a little mini dress uh, this is the back of it as well just this is like a little bit of like a stretchy detail um, and I got this in a size small and it was 25 99 I thought this was actually quite cute didn't hate this I thought this is something that you'd wear it felt very like holiday vibes i feel like going out in the daytime on holiday going around the shops going to get your ice cream very very comfy extremely comfy actually very comfy throw on didn't hate it um i don't think it did much for my shape in terms of like flattering um however i do like the length of it. it's short so i suppose it does show off the legs but yeah as i said it just felt really really nice for summer really like the thin kind of spaghetti straps so i really like that as well the straps are adjustable which i am a big fan of um, so yeah, don't hate that. I thought that was quite cute. Definitely, uh, if you're thinking about this, I'd definitely go for this one. Really, really nice. One thing I will say, actually, while I'm here, again, um, the same as with the white dress. It has got like a panel across here, across the boob area that is not the longest. So I feel like if your boobs were big, they're going to either spill over the top or there's going to be, there's going to look like there's sort of a bit of a lumpy under boob underneath the panel and it's not going to sit quite right. But yeah, that's the only thing I'll say about that one. Okay, next up, and it is this kind of like muted khaki rusticy alternate top which i saw it on the website when someone sent it through to me and i was like oh i really like that scared i'm gonna want to keep that one and i'm keeping it in fact i've got to keep it because i actually managed to get makeup on it when i was trying it on great good job i liked it but i really really like this this is a size small it's 25.99 and i i think that i do believe there is a skirt to match this However, I couldn't see it online. It must have sold out. Hopefully they'll bring it back because the skirt actually looks quite nice. So I've styled it here with like some beige coloured trousers. You can see how like muted the khaki is next to that colour. And I, even though the trousers aren't necessarily like the same colour, I think just all the tones together looks really nice. I popped on some like khaki heels. I just think that outfit is just a vibe. Absolutely love it. Can't wait to wear that in summer. That feels very like going down to the beach bar when you're on holiday and just feeling all sophisticated, sitting in the sun with your tan lines. Don't. I could actually cry at the thought. So I absolutely love this. I think it's absolutely stunning. Love the fit of it. One thing I will say, it is so hard to do up these buttons. Now, I was on my own in the house when I was filming the try-on clips for this. I couldn't do it. I tried and tried and tried. My nails got in the way. Obviously, I've just recovered from three broken fingers, guys. I can't do intricate buttons like this. This was hard. So hard. So yeah, I couldn't do them up. So I've kind of tried to hold it there in the video so you can see but i love this definite keep definitely recommend if you're um and are in i also think this with some really extreme wide leg trousers would look unreal but yeah love the color love the fit gorgeous next up and we have this orange number gorgeous color look i'm loving orange at the minute love this orange dress however it kind of catfished me because when i ordered it you'll see the picture on the website I assumed it was going to be short and I was like, oh, excited for that one. I think I might keep that. And then it arrived and it's not. It's that awkward, like, midi length. One thing I do really love about this dress is the colour. The colour is beautiful. I love the straps. I love the back of it. Um, I think it's really flattering. It's a really nice um, neckline. It's not too deep. It's not too conservative. I really, really like it for summer. I just really, really, I think the length of it just 
ruins it for me. Um, I feel like once you get past your kind of belly region, it just goes a bit tits up, to be honest. It's just, it's straight, it doesn't cling to anything. But yeah, it just does nothing for me, which is a shame. What I will say is because it does nothing for me, it is extremely comfortable. So if you do like it, don't let me put you off. I'm just saying on me, I don't like it. However, it's, as I said, so comfortable. Would make a fantastic holiday dress. Um, I've popped some sandals with it here. Um, but yeah, just a shame. If it was short, I'd have kept it in a heartbeat. Okay, next up, I'm going to show this as a set because a few people sent me um, both items. So first of all, it's like the seamless range that Zara do. Oh god, the legs are stuck inside each other. There we go. So you've got these little seamless pair of black shorts. Really stretchy. Really, really like the fabric of these. And then this, let me just do the zip up one memento and then the top to go with it which is just this kind of one shoulder top um and then it's got like a little zip at the back i got a size so i got a size small in the top and i'm pretty sure i got a small in the bottoms as well yeah so extra small to small um and the bottoms were 14.99 and the top was 9.99 um now i really like these i like these as base layers i like wearing them under things like blazers shirts I think they look really nice and the shorts I absolutely love. I think the shorts are really, really lovely. They don't show like any lumps, bumps of like your knickers that you're wearing. Um, I like the length, I like the feel. These are a definite yes from me. The one thing I don't like is the top. Now, from the front, I don't hate it. I think it's just a nice one shoulder top. However, I really, really don't like the fact they put a zip on it. The zip to me just feels like, it makes it look like a really cheap night out top. Um, I wish they'd left the zip off and just left it as like elasticated so it felt more like active wear that you can wear on a night out rather than the zip. The zip isn't that great quality, it does feel a bit jaggedy when you're doing it up and down. Doesn't feel like it's got a long life at all. Um, so yeah, the top is a no from me because that zip just ruins it. Um, but yeah, definitely yes from me on the shorts. Okay, and finally, we have this green um, play suit. A lot of people actually sent me this. I was quite surprised. But yeah, it's just this very, very like basic play suit. High neck. It's got one of those really annoying little buttons at the top that I had no chance of doing up. So I didn't. Now, I just feel very, very indifferent towards this. I don't passionately love it. I don't passionately hate it. But I just think it's just a very simple throw-on play suit that you'd wear in summer. It hasn't really got much about it going on. It just feels very, very basic. Um, the colour, it's like, it is a, a nice kind of muted green colour. But like the shape of it doesn't really do anything. Um, but yeah, I just feel like it needs something. I feel like you'd really have to up the accessories with something like this. Otherwise you are, I mean me personally as I said, might look different on someone that has a few more curves. I just felt like a lollipop stick in it, just straight up and down, nothing going on. So yeah, not personally for me, um, but I don't hate it. It's just meh. And that's it guys, that's all the items we've got to show you. So please let me know what you thought of that. A few different items there, as I said, items that I usually would never have bought, but it's quite interesting seeing me wear them. So yeah, please let me know if you like this kind of video and I'll be sure to film another one. Please do give this video a thumbs up if you did like it and remember to subscribe because that would mean a lot. But as always guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.